I want to thank everybody for coming tonight and those who are watching online. I'm Chris Kinder. I'm the Historic Preservation Planner for the City of Erie, and I'm very excited to talk about our Historic Preservation Plan tonight. <clears throat> with us is our consulting firm, the Lakota Group, um, and we have with us Nick Calajarisis, who's going to talk a little bit more about the plan and what we're doing here this evening. Thanks, Chris. It's uh, wonderful to be back here in the city of Erie, and uh, I'm here with my colleague Josh Bloom in the back of the room, and uh, today we are sort of unveiling our first draft of the Historic Preservation Plan, and uh, this plan, uh, first of all, it's like any community plan or comprehensive plan. Uh, it's a plan that uh, looks forward in terms of what we're going to do with the past. And uh, it's a, an important plan that sets out some policies, some directions in terms of how preservation is going to play an important role in the community going forward. And uh, I think what's uh, been fun about this process so far is really working with a community that uh, has just started out in historic preservation. So this plan is going to be very important uh, for the Historic Preservation Commission and other preservation partners to um, take a hold of and start enacting and start seeing some positive change. And so uh, we're here today to uh, talk about the draft plan. And this is a open house where we are presenting uh, different strategies in the plan. And uh, we're hoping to get some feedback from people uh, today in terms of what they think are priorities in the plan. And uh, so that's uh, the point of our meeting today. And uh, this has been a 10-month uh, a process so far. And this preservation plan is, was made possible by a Keystone Preservation Grant by the Pennsylvania State Historic Preservation Office. So, uh, we really thank them for making this all possible. Uh, so the workshop tonight, uh, we have uh, four stations in this plant, uh, this open house tonight. And uh, the last station, uh, station four, is the most important one in terms of that's where we're laying out strategies and, and where we want people to provide feedback. But there's uh, the... Uh, first three stations provide some background information about historic preservation, about uh, this, uh, the new program that's here in, uh, in Erie, the benefits of preservation, and uh, uh, some descriptions about what is a National Register Historic uh, District, National Register Landmark, versus a local historic district and landmark. So we have some information uh, that provides that background. We also have uh, another station that's just behind me that gives you some background information about uh, National Register districts. The current ones that are here in Erie, there are four of them, and so we provide some, some information on that. Uh, we also have another station that provides some information about um, uh, preservation incentives. So it's all meant to provide background information, and uh, so you're more than welcome to go up to these stations and read them and uh, and learn about um, the preservation program here in Erie. I wanted to just spend some time just talking about Station 4 uh, because that's where we have laid out some initial strategies uh, for, for Erie going forward and they're all important. Uh, they're all meant to sort of start building that local historic preservation program. And uh, so we have, um, we have five major areas where these strategies are kind of concentrated and focused on. The first one being, how do we identify future historic districts? And how do we uh, identify them? And how do we go about documenting our history? So we have a, four uh, strategies related to that. The second uh, theme um, is related to, um, the second theme is related to telling the diverse stories of Erie's heritage. And uh, Erie has really this incredible layers of history here. And uh, significant events, significant people, there's significant architecture, but there's also stories uh, related to the vast immigrant groups that have come here to settle in Erie. 
And so we have a number of strategies that relate to how do we tell the stories of those communities here. And so it's all meant to try to promote that local history a little bit more. Our next theme is really about uh, protecting and conserving places. And it's about how do we uh, provide some informa more information to property owners, business owners about historic preservation. How do we use new tools uh, for historic preservation? And how do we engage the public and neighborhood groups in protecting places? Uh, so we have that theme there set up as well. The next one is investing in historic assets. And uh, that theme is about how do we use preservation to promote uh, neighborhood revitalization, uh, the continued revitalization of downtown, um, how do we use um, historic preservation as an important tool to reuse historic buildings here. So that is uh, investing in historic assets. The next one is how do we engage the community and uh, how do we educate property owners on good preservation practices, uh, home repair, things like that. And how do we strengthen preservation advocacy? And most importantly, how do we engage younger generations here in Erie about preservation and the stories that matter here in the community? And then last but not least, uh, we have a, a set of themes called organizing the program. And Erie's preservation program is fairly new and it's uh, just designated its first landmark. But uh, how do we build a stronger program here? And how do we create a very robust local historic preservation program? So that is station four. And we'd like you to read through those strategies. And if you have any questions, uh, you could come to me or you could come to Josh and uh, we'll answer those questions for you. We do have a set of sticker notes that we want you to use if you see that one strategy is a higher priority than others, then we want you to vote using stickers uh, for those um, individual strategies. And so we want you to at least tell us your thoughts on where do we go from there. Uh, after this workshop, we are going to take the results and uh, we're going to come up with a second draft historic preservation plan. And uh, we hope to get that done in the next month. So this input is very, very important. And uh, so whatever comments and feedback you can provide us, uh, that would be great. So uh, that is the workshop. And uh, I'll take any questions. And I guess uh, we will uh, we'll go ahead with the workshop. And thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Josh, I totally forgot uh, there is a website uh, for this planning process. I almost forgot that, uh, that uh, we've had for the last year that provides um, some information on the project. And uh, we will post the draft historic preservation plan there uh, later this week. And uh, if you want to provide comments um, on the preservation plan, you could actually go to that website and you could actually type in into a comment box uh, your thoughts suggestions about the plan and then it will come right to us. Um, but uh, it's an important website to get information. So if you want to uh, post comments, f use that website to do so. So, all right. Thank you very much. <laughs>